Hello everyone, I'm Roseanne Haven. In tonight for Peter Albrecht. And I'm Devin Walsh. First on five, a delegation from Alabama is in Washington, D.C. to oppose a plan to build a tent city in Baldwin County to house 25,000 immigrants. This is a developing story that News 5 has been following since last week. This morning, we were at Pensacola International Airport as the team left for Washington. News 5's Drew Petromo joins us now live from Washington, where he caught up with our delegation. Drew? Well, as you're probably aware, the issue of what to do with immigrants, including families that are picked up along the southern border, has caused quite the controversy here in Washington. The Trump administration now says it will work to keep those families together but the question is where, and one of the proposals has caused a lot of concern from Alabama officials. Local officials from southwest Alabama hit the pavement Wednesday in Washington, D.C. to fight against a proposal to house illegal immigrants in their community. Huey Hosmack is the sheriff of Baldwin County and says security is his top concern. Not only for the community, but to also you would want to ensure the safety of any of the families or children that are inside the facility as well. It was late last week when officials got word the Trump administration was considering two airstrips in Baldwin County as locations to house 25,000 immigrants in tent cities. Tucker Dorsey and Chris Elliott are Baldwin County Commissioners. We feel very comfortable that we're making some progress in letting the decision makers know exactly what the limitations of our site are. The demand on our infrastructure that we already have challenges with, water, sewer, transportation. The officials met with federal lawmakers, including Senator Richard Shelby and Representative Bradley Byrne. Talk about inhumane, putting somebody in an unair conditioned tent in South Alabama in the heat of the summer. This week, Byrne joined other Republican members of the Alabama delegation in sending a letter to the Departments of Defense and Homeland Security urging against the proposal. We are getting in on this very early. And they hope that will prevent it from ever becoming reality. Now, when I interviewed uh, Chris Elliott, it was right after he met with the Department of Defense, and I asked him, is he convinced that Baldwin County is off the hook, that it will not be eventually picked for one of the sites? He said he's not quite there yet, but he is feeling better and better as the hours go on and as those meetings go on, that ultimately Baldwin County will be off the hook. Guys? Well, you know, Drew, this is not the first time our elected officials have fought something like this. Yeah, that's exactly right. You probably remember back in 2014, the Obama administration was dealing with another problem. This time it was mostly unaccompanied minors that had come up and crossed the border, and the administration was looking for a place to house them. These same two sites were proposed, and there was an outcry from the delegation. They were eventually able to get the Obama administration to relent and not pick that as one of the sites. They're hoping to have similar success this go-round. 